Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Three years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, one loss. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, introducing the challenger, Sergei Pavlovich. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator. UFC belt on the line. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your camp. that's gonna control where this fight takes place. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Lands a big right hand early. No, 
knee to the body. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Sound defensively here as he stays upright. Double leg takedown, no good. Left hand punch from the clinch. Ngannou's shot is blocked. And they separate. Massive head kick. Now we're just going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Just over three minutes to go. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Just missed with the left there. Like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Predator, Francis Ngannou. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Trying to stay in this fight! All right, single collar tie now. Finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Try to establish that jab. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Francis and God. Look at him working at trying to shut the limit up. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Five minutes in the books. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. He's got to go chase that finish down now. That was a jab. Oh! Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Shots, you hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combo. Oh! Well, he's up, but he is hurt. first continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the arm ball. How about that? He's like, you go here, <laughs> my arm's free, and now he's got plenty of room to operate here out of side control. Nicely Great done. Job. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Back to the feet now. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message. Oh! Nice punch 
there by Francis and Ghana. Gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Your winner and by knockout here tonight.